Hey Scott, my name is Christian Renna with RenGen SEO. We are a digital marketing agency and I just wanted to shoot this quick video to give you some free tips and tricks that you can use on your own to increase your online presence. Uh, contrary to popular belief, a website can actually bring you leads in and of itself uh, without paying outside lead services like Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com. And the leads are exclusive to you, so you're not going to be playing the game of uh, who paid the most money this month to get the best leads or... Uh, you know, playing the game of, you know, multiple agents competing for the same lead. Okay, the leads are yours because it's your website. So, um, first of all, obviously, you understand the importance of being online. Uh, and you do have the fact that you're a real estate agent on here, which is good to see, right? So, a lot of realtors don't even have the fact that they're real uh, estate agents on their Facebook page, which is a, is a major platform nowadays. So, um, I'm glad to see that. So, you're a real estate agent. Uh you know, who I, let's do it. And I see you're in the Marine Corps. You were, so I was in the army, but, um, so here we go. Uh, three things we're going to talk about content citations and backlinks. The first is going to be content. So this is your website. I pulled your website from your right here, scottrvahomes.com. So it looks like this is probably hosted potentially through RVA homes. So I'm not sure how much you can actually change or modify on this website, but, uh, bottom line is this content is king. Search engines love content, Google in particular. The more content you have, the better. Now, content isn't just the words on your website. It's also the photos, how the photos are saved, alt tags, meta descriptions, site titles, what's behind the photos. Particularly in real estate websites, what's behind your photos and how they're saved matters, especially with the IDX feed and all the listing photos, how your photos are saved matters, okay? So if a search engine is reading how your photo is saved on the back end, uh, even down to the size of your photo, it would make sense that we make sure that that's good content. Now, a lot of times, I'm sure you know, when you upload a photo or you transfer it on a computer, uh, the computer will create a file name for that photo that we don't specify. Normally, it's just, uh, you know, random letters and numbers or, you know, uh, pick one, pick two, you know, whatever that is. Well, that's no good, okay? We want to add good content on the back end of those photos so that search engines can read it and help you rank for that, okay? So very important in real estate. Uh, if you have any access to this website, I would suggest going through and making sure all those photos are saved uh, the proper way. And then also, um, yeah, I would do that. Highly suggest that. Uh, next is citations. So what a citation is, is anywhere on the web that your business name, address, and phone number is listed in various directories. Uh, that would include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages, Yelp, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, all those are going to give you citations. So uh, I saw based on your Facebook page that you were in Glen Allen, Virginia. So I typed in Glen Allen, Virginia Realtors. We got RVA Elite Realtors. We got Long and Foster. And then we have RVA Realty. I don't know which RVA you're with, um, but either way, that that's none that's none the wiser. This is where you want to be. Even more importantly than this, I'd like to point out that I don't know if you're a broker. I don't know, uh, you know, what your status is as far as real estate goes. But uh, whether you're a broker or not, you can have an individual Google My Business page. So that's key right there. So as you can see, we got Bill Nelson, Chris Elliott. Okay, these two realtors are up in the in the main page, first page here, uh, even though they're individual agents. So that's that's the main thing um, that I want to point out here. So we highly suggest getting yourself Google My Business pages. Okay, we highly suggest getting yourself Google My Business page. For this video, we're going to use Chris Elliott, RVA real estate agent. Okay, I believe you're with RVA too. So. Um, this is what it looks like once you get one. It's pretty basic. Now, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, Chris has 70 reviews, okay? So we recommend 25 reviews. Chris has 70. He's well above and beyond that number, but we recommend 25 minimum. Obviously, reviews take time. Everybody knows the importance of reviews. This is what you're going to want to do, 25 reviews minimum. Also, once you get your domain, now whether you uh, you know, kind of step back from the RVA Homes platform and build your own, you're going to want to put your domain down here in the appointment section. Um, and that's just going to help bring exposure and make it easier for people to click on and find. Uh, and then the last thing with the Google My Business pages, which Chris is actually in the bottom uh, of the first page, but he is on the first page. So he's doing something right. But we recommend 10 photos. So Chris has one photo in here twice. Uh, and I'm willing to bet you that it's not saved the right way. So we recommend 10 photos 
Uh, and then again, we want to make sure that those photos are all saved the right way on the back end. Um, that way, along with your reviews and your citations, um, you're going to rank and be up in that you know main top position uh, for this Google My Business page. So uh, 10 photos saved the right way, 25 reviews, uh, put your website in the appointment section, get yourself some citations, and you'll be well on your way to uh, making some money using the Google My Business. And then the last thing is uh, backlinks. So what a backlink is, is anywhere on the web that your domain can be found. So anywhere that scottrvahomes.com can be found on the web anywhere, um, it'll give you a backlink. So do your homework on backlinks. We actually aren't pulling up any data on your on your website. So I'm willing to bet you that it's not really blasted anywhere. And then I also know that when we click on it, there's many like, uh, if, you, if you notice over here, we have all this mumbo jumbo here. So it's not like a, a typical domain. And I think that's because of the RVA Homes um, platform you're using. But either way, do your homework. Not all backlinks are created equal. Uh, you can kind of think of backlinks as like power. And the more power you have, the more visible your website's going to be. So um, do your homework and get yourself some backlinks that are relevant to the trade and not spammy. So very important. Um, other than that, I hope this video finds you well. I hope that you can find the time to implement these tips and tricks into your um, business, into your life to bring you some leads and some more money. And so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to get in touch with us. Uh, and other than that, thank you very much for watching, Scott.